Hello everyone, we are back with the final match of Fort Wayne Regionals. Mm -hmm. After so many rounds of playing, it's Andrew Mahone against Jimmy Pendarvis. We're looking at it, it's gonna be a mirror match. It's gonna be a dark type, a Niveltal mirror match. Mm -hmm. And seeing these two players' records, um, Jimmy also has gone undefeated the whole day. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty impressive as well. Mm -hmm. He also... He's definitely been played against the mirror match plenty of times, so they're going to both probably have played it this weekend. There was a lot of dark, so they're definitely going to know exactly what they need to do to beat each other and what not to do. Yeah. Um, we do see Jimmy does go first, and he does have the better start. I mean, mm -hmm. you never want to start Jimmy in mm -hmm. any matchup. So Jimmy's looking, um, he's looking through his deck, figuring out his prize cards most likely, figuring out the important counts, mm -hmm. and he goes for the Friday Night of Veltal. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how important that is in the mirror match. I feel like it's going to be probably one of the most important key factors to get the 60-60 is pretty strong. Yeah, and especially when you have liabilities like Shaman and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, Andrew will definitely want to pick that up as mm -hmm. soon as possible. Yep, or Parallel City it away. Yeah. Definitely get it off the board. And Parallel City might come in huge into play as well because, I mean, neither opponent really relies, or neither player rather, relies on abilities too much, mm -hmm. I feel like. But um, whoever gets limited to three bench Pokemon might mm -hmm. actually end up um, being a bit um, penalized, if you will by mm -hmm. not being able to maybe shaman for a few extra resources maybe having enough attackers ready mm -hmm. i feel like neither player are gonna focus the garb in this matchup unlike the last matchup we just saw that was pretty much what won i feel like andrew the game any time there was a giant water shrug and i think it could have went in <laughs> chris's favor but in these two matchups i don't think either are really even worried about it Inevitably, it gets out, and maybe, but... And now, we do see Jimmy is, to a, is off to a pretty explosive start. I mean, he already has three energy into play. He has two Fright Nighty Veltals powered up and ready to go with Fighting Fury Pelts, although the, those won't deal any damage. I mean, won't give the extra HP right now because mm -hmm. there's no Garbodor in play. I guess that would be one of the reasons to get the Garbodor out. But yeah. Other than that... And yeah, I mean, you really can't ask for too much more if you're Jimmy. Um, mm -hmm. He does have an Ultra Ball, he might get rid of the other copy of Pearl City he has. And he's probably considering either going for Garb or simply passing the turn here. Mm -hmm. And there it is, he passes. Well, Andrew can pick up the Shaman, I believe, because he does have a double colorless energy. Mm -hmm. But seeing um, Jimmy's setup, seeing how many energy he already has in play. I don't know if you can actually afford to even um, whiff an energy spend attachment or spend mm -hmm. a turn using Sky Return over over attaching to the Fright Night of Eltal, which, as we see on Jimmy's board, seems to be the key to this match. Mm -hmm. Now, Andrew will look through his deck as well and fig figure out probably the same cards that Jimmy figured out because if I'm not mistaken, these two guys are friends, mm -hmm. and they're probably playing Very at least, similar lists. Yeah, at mm -hmm. least 58 to 55 um, of the same cards. So we'll see if Andrew can get a really good start, just like Jimmy did. He did have a trainer's mail in his hand, so he's looking to hopefully get... Oh, and he had an answer. That's good, too. He's probably looking for the max elixir he wants to get. And energy he on does, field. Yeah, mm -hmm. he does find the Max Elixir, so that's good news because he also found the Enhanced Hammer, mm -hmm. and that um, takes a little bit away off of the the great start that Jimmy mm -hmm. got. All it takes is him to hit this Max Elixir, he does and attach, and he's right at the same energy as mm -hmm. Jimmy is now. So something so simple. Yeah. Swap the right back to fair. Oh, so, okay. We do see the DC and we do see a clean sycamore. So both players actually got a clean sycamore of their first of their first hands. Um, we might even see <laughs> if um, Andrew finds another Fright Night of Eltal, He does also have the f the um, 
the max elixir so mm -hmm. we might actually see an exact mirror match pretty much here <laughs> <laughs> should be really interesting to see at that point i feel like from the start andrew had to me being start with the evil tall ex that it would might be in andrew's favor just that quick yeah um it, it'll be interesting if well andrew will um retreat into that right knight of Eltal, right mm -hmm. So Jimmy will lose the option to use Floatstone in order to retreat. So if he has to attach an energy to retreat, then he won't get an attack off. Mm -hmm. And that's really good news for Andrew. But Jimmy also probably has the Olympia. He might run a escape rope as well. So he has a lot of options as well. You never know what will happen. Yeah, he does have those options. It's all a matter of does he have them he right have them? now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Andrew will play a Trainer's Mail to find a Verse Seeker, and that pretty much guarantees that he will have um, a supporter for next turn. Mm -hmm. And he did sick him more this turn, so he has that one in there. Now, he doesn't have any other Pokemon, though, apparently. So, even if he does Sky Return right now, um, he won't be drawing any more cards off mm -hmm. of that Shaman. So, because he has so many cards in his current hand now jimmy should have enhanced hammer as well so that could potentially delay mm -hmm. andrew next turn but mm -hmm. andrew is pretty much guaranteed um to get a uh, the first um fright night mm -hmm. off see that damage output is pretty much what andrew wants to get a little damage on the board to be able to start spreading the 60 is pretty good in my opinion. yeah and if he well, if he chooses Shaman, or if he eventually hits Shaman, mm -hmm. it's going to put a lot of pressure on Jimmy, because you mm -hmm. definitely don't want to have that liability right there. Mm -hmm. And that would put Jimmy in a position where he's going to get Sky Return to get it off the board, or essentially give up two free prize cards. Yeah. Now we do see him going for the, mm -hmm. the Trubbish, so he does correctly identify the fact that he needs to try and make his Floatstones work. Mm -hmm. And he attaches to the active, so Jimmy will not be taking, will not be attacking. In this. Mm -hmm. well, I think Andrew appreciates that end, even though he lost the DC, mm -hmm. um, he was going to end himself most mm -hmm. likely. So he still has a good chance to hit that DC, and he will get to use, um, hopefully find more basic Pokemon, mm -hmm. um, more Eveltal. He'll. He'll be able to get that pitch black spear onto both Pokemon. He would have had to discard a good amount of resources if he wanted to Sycamore, so he would have definitely went for the yeah. end. Um, I believe he also had an Olympia in his hand. Yeah. So, that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get to see too much of each player's hands. Um, he does have an Ultra Ball. Rubbish. Another parallel city. So, I think that could be very important for Andrew is if he found the the other stadium, the one that increases damage for dark Pokemon, mm -hmm. or if he somehow gets the Garbodor into play and attaches that Fine Fear belt, he could actually be seeing a 3 KO against mm -hmm. that Evil Tally X because of he would deal 60 damage this turn and then 70 the next turn. So Andrew definitely has has some very good choices here. It does look like he's trying to discover whether he wants to play the Trubbish or if he wants to Ultra Ball. Yeah. And he's okay, he's looks like he will choose he will with the Floatstone immediately. Mm -hmm. And he will most definitely play that Ultra Ball. And mm -hmm. looks like he's saving that first Seeker to Sycamore away. The Darkness Energy, hoping to hit that DCE. And I'm gonna guess he'll try to find the other Fright Knight of Eltal, if he has it. But in which he I mean, does. does. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I don't know, it's very interesting that we saw Dortmund last week dominated by mm -hmm. Veltal, and then Veltal also is right here in the top two of mm -hmm. Fort Wayne. Um, a lot of people were saying that this deck would be the one teched against, but even if it was, it's right here in the final. Yeah, I feel like Dark is just 
been forever good. It's yeah. just always done so well and never gonna go away no matter what yeah. they try to do. Like, and they just keep reprinting in Velt also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dark is here to stay. Mm -hmm. So Andrew does hit the DC, so that's really, really huge. Mm -hmm. And he will be able to pick off that Shaman. He will assess that Fighting View Belt, but it will not be effective at this point in time. It will only be effective when and if he does um, get Carpenter in play. Actually, he chose not to play it, which maybe he was thinking inevitably he got Enhanced Hammer and he would want to put down on it. Yeah. And try to retreat. If that's only if Jimmy does put in the garb or if Andrew puts the garb out. So. Now, Jimmy's in a rough spot here. He has he already has one DC in his discard pile. Mm -hmm. He has one in play, so he's down to two. And the Fright Knight, um, Eveltal, does require that three energies to deal damage. Mm -hmm. And even if he does, Andrew has no basic po I mean no EXs. no EXs in play. Mm -hmm. So he's actually gonna opt to take a KO here. With well he's ten damage no, he's not ten damage. Should be able to take a KO here with Evil Ball. Which is good news for him. Mm -hmm. Um he will get rid of all the energy Andrew has in play. Mm -hmm. But another another Max Elixir, another DC, <laughs> a fighting fear build Andrew's and a right Garbiter. Andrew's right back in it mm -hmm. and taking four prizes next turn. It's well, a lot of cards to pull off, but it's definitely, it's definitely possible. possible. Absolutely. Yeah, there we get the first KO of the match. Um, it does go to Jimmy. We do see the promoted um, rubbish with the floatstone. And we do immediately see the Fighting Fury belt on the Veltal EX. So does maybe he's just. Does have a supporter in his hand? I. I'm not entirely sure, honestly. I can't really tell what's in the back part of his hand, but he does. Looks like he just might have. Yeah, oh, he does. He have, okay, there was a sycamore at the very back. I couldn't <laughs> tell, but I was a little worried there that he was going to just pass. <laughs> <laughs> you never want to do that in the top two of uh, regionals. Yeah. Andrew playing a lot more conservatively. He didn't want to go for that super all in strategy we mm -hmm. were talking about. And it looks like he even whiffed. Um, the the max uh, the max elixir so you won't even get a chance to to power up anything else and mm -hmm. in terms of board position Jim is looking really good um having four energy in play mm -hmm. having all those five three belts Andrew's hand isn't looking the best he has four energy in his hand so I believe his only supporter was a sycamore don't want to see that. You mm -hmm. don't want to have to get rid of all the. Definitely don't want four energy in a hand when you need a lot of resources. So. Yeah, Jimmy. Um, one thing you might consider, if you're Jimmy, is using White Cyclone and transferring the DCE to mm -hmm. the Shaman EX so that you can Sky Return mm -hmm. next turn. Um, you have to assume at this point that Evil Tall EX will go down. So, I think the White Cyclone is a given. But to whom? That's a real question here. It is a tough one whether to put it on the Fright Night Evil Tall or to attach to the Shaman. But he definitely has options, which is always good. Yeah, he has options. He goes for one of those by searching for Evil Tall EX, so that might actually be his target. And he's gonna lie center up the Evil Tall EX, which makes a lot of sense. He yep. gets that first attack off. Um, he really didn't care about KOing the Trubbish because the threat is whatever Andrew does decide to power up. Mm -hmm. And that was um, Dave Velto. Mm -hmm. And we see a Jimmy's third double colorless energy right there. Um, He's trying to decide wants to put it. He did decide to put it on the Fright Night. Yep. So... Huh, why Cyclone? That Eveltal will get KO'd. And I do believe Andrew has an N, I think. But with so many energy in his current hand, yeah, he whiffs the Max Elixir. Yeah, he has discarded a few, he has one in play, and he has a few others in his hand, so odds of that hitting were definitely not good at all. Will he end, though? I think he would, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
He doesn't. So that doesn't set Jimmy too far behind. He had one card in hand. Now he's gonna have five fresh new cards. Hopefully he only draws five. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he only yeah. draws five, so we don't have a scenario like like we did in the top eight match. And I mean, if Jimmy can find a Lysander here and he can Lysander up the Fright Knight Veltal, um, he could use his own Fright Knight to potentially. Um, deal damage to the bench Pokemon with, uh, to the bench Evolutal EX without risking the, the knockout. Mm -hmm. Oh, he almost drew that sixth <laughs> card. Yeah. Um, Jimmy does find an enhanced hammer, so it'll be interesting to see if he decides to remove the energy off of the other Evolutal EX, or if he actually tries to save it, to, to save it or mm -hmm. remove the energy off of the Fright Knight Evolutal. Okay. Oh, because he would, he's gonna, he would get the Y Cycler. But is he, he's actually considering. There's uh, the enhanced on the Veltal EX. And a Y Cyclone away the darkness. He still or decided. Not. <laughs> he doesn't know. He has the DC in his mind. I think that he was. Because he. So he does transfer the DC. The DC does get two prizes. He is in the lead in terms of prizes, but not really in the board position. That immediate promotion of rubbish does signify a floatstone, I would imagine. So like Jimmy to buy himself sometime mm -mm. <laughs> at this point. Definitely don't want to promote rubbish without having a way yeah. to get it back. Unless you're really struggling to yeah. get going. <laughs> And that's a bad game already. Might as well <laughs> scoop and move on. We don't want to see not a complete three games. We do see an end from Jimmy. He had a first seeker, so he could have Lysandered, but he mm -hmm. chose not to. Um, he wants to get that double 60 damage on both Evolt mm -hmm. And he does take away Andrew's DCE. So if Jimmy does find a Carpador, uh, he will really struggle to get that KO on. The Fright Knight Veltal, meaning mm -hmm. he will probably get two attacks off. So it puts and Andrew did just draw two prize cards, so he's gonna go down to five. Yeah. Like, you see a max elixir hit. Andrew Jimmy. does have a VS. He'll be able to get out of it pretty easily. Okay. Really want to find a DCE though. Mm -hmm. He will really want to find a DCE. And I don't know, I mean, even though Jimmy is kind of struggling in terms of price cards, he will take, he won't, and he won't be taking any this turn, unless mm -hmm. he decides to attack with the LDX. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Um, preparing himself, he's setting himself up for a, a really good late game, and he even mm -hmm. finds the Carpenter. Mm -hmm. And just look, this is how good Pokemon tool cards are. Every mm -hmm. single Pokemon you play on Jimmy's side actually has a Pokemon tool card. Mm -hmm. he, he's gonna be able to spread the city. No matter where that Eveltal EX runs to, you will not be able to survive mm -hmm. the next turn. Because even with a DCE, um, he will only be dealing 150 damage. So he's mm -hmm. 20 damage short. The game on that Evelto. And it's looking really good for Jimmy. Jimmy's right board here. looks yeah. amazing. <laughs> if I uh if I were Jimmy, I'd be feeling pretty confident about this first game. But you never know. Time probably won't be a factor here, because we have so much time for mm -hmm. to complete three games, but you, game one has taken a decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. And if you're Jimmy, you're feeling really good here going into game two. You are behind in the price count, but you might get a turn where you clean up the field. Andrew in a tough spot once Veltal's knocked out. And I, did Jimmy play his? Did Jimmy play his uh, enhanced hammer yet? I believe he's played one. He's played one. So if he does have another one, that's going to put Andrew a little bit farther behind again, too. So, mm -hmm. depends. Like, 
right here. I'm trying to think what's what's Andrew's win condition here. Um, I generally don't see one. Jimmy has way too many energy in play. He has that Evel Tully X powered up. Um, his only way to possibly get out of this situation would be to maybe Lysander up the Veltal and use his own Fright Knight Veltal in order to spread damage around and prevent that from retreating because he only has one DC left. But I don't see it. I generally don't see. I don't see Andrews win. It's not gonna be deck out. It's not gonna. He's not gonna win by price cards. Sure. So maybe Andrew would do well here to maybe try and save some time and scoop here because he wants to make a comeback. Um, mm -hmm. He's gonna need to win two games in a row. He's gonna if he does take this knockout. I would put him. I believe he'll be at three prize cards, and probably see a delinquent here. Yeah. So, Jimmy even without oh, an even more man. dominant performance here, he he leaves Andrew Mahone handless, wow. literally handless. So Andrew's at the mercy of his top tech. He had been saving a sycamore, which he can no longer use, and Jimmy's gonna take two more prize cards and leave that bench developed X in range of another Fright Knight attack. I can't believe that delinquent was so well planned. Yeah, that was perfect timing mm -hmm. by Jimmy. And maybe Andrew didn't know. Maybe that's one of the differences. Yeah, the differences. Yeah, I guess um, we definitely weren't expecting a delinquent. Yeah. Okay, so what does Andrew Let's top deck see. here? Uh, he's gonna scoop. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna yeah, scoop. Develops, which also. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, so Jimmy, one went away from going undefeated. Yeah, that's, that's a six hundred person regional. That's pretty impressive. That's very, very impressive. That would be so good for him. Not only that, he's walking away with a good chunk of money. A good chunk of money. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> but it's not over for Andrew. He still can win this, and even if he doesn't, he also is going to walk away with a good chunk of money. So. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. And these two guys are friends, so mm -hmm. I'm sure um, there's not going to be any hard feelings or anything. No, they're going to be both happy for each other, yeah. no matter what. So. And the championship points, like the championship mm -hmm. points both have secured, mm -hmm. um, might allow them to, yeah. to travel to other potential intercontinentals mm -hmm. if the if the um, stipends and everything work mm -hmm. as people are thinking so yeah not a bad not a bad weekend for them mm -hmm. i would say hopefully they're having fun playing the game we all love mm -hmm. and yeah. they're walking away they with look, some very smiling, nice prizes so yeah. you assume that no one's unhappy yeah they're chatting about it does feel like a friendlier game. Mm -hmm. Like you'd see sometimes competitors be really serious and concentrated, but mm -hmm. these two guys are just relaxed. And you can tell by their body language, even like mm -hmm. they're both. Even though Andrew lost, he's not frustrated or anything. Mm -hmm. He's just thinking about the next game. He's really prepping for the next one because yeah. he knows he has a lot of time left. He easily can win game two, and game mm -hmm. three is going to be the deciding factor. So. You always have to take that idea out of, okay, I lost. You don't want to let that affect your next game. You would just look to win the next one, and you accept you take losses sometimes. And with so much, um, with so much money on the line, mm -hmm. um, you definitely don't want to like concede or anything. Mm -hmm. You want to play it out to mm -hmm. the best of your ability and mm -hmm. try to try to bring this back. You definitely don't want to let your emotions get in the way of. You know, something that is always anyone's game at any point, so. Andrew actually. And looks pretty good. He's got two Uveltals. Didn't see what Jimmy started with. Oh, oh so the reverse. See, yeah, here it is. Yeah, the exact reverse situation, yeah, wow. which is very interesting here. <gasps> does have a. Oh, Waves to Elixir, not though. That's not good news for Andrew. You never want to miss those 
When you hit him, you're so happy because you have so much extra free energy on the board. Okay, so there's another oh. try. Um, uh, oh, oh no, another gosh. whiffed Max Elixir. Yikes. Wow. That's really sad. You definitely don't want to miss one, but when you miss two, yeah. you're not having a good day. Jimmy hits two and instantly back in his favor. <laughs> And especially when it's the beginning of the game, you don't have too many cards, um, too many energy in your mm -hmm. hand. Definitely maybe expect to hit one of those, mm -hmm. you know? Like two would be a, a luxury, mm -hmm. one would have been expected perhaps, mm -hmm. and he does end. He actually had gotten one off his four for the trainer's mail, yeah. which is so sad. Yeah, that's so sad. Like, like would you say it's there's... It's taunting? Yeah. <laughs> would you say there's like a right way to play those cards in which order yeah i mean in that case no they're both two things that aren't gonna affect each other per se i mean like if andrew did play the trainer's mail first that's one less card that could mm -hmm. be in the deck maybe he'd get the energy but you know it's always the question which did you play first between a battle compressor and like an acro yeah you know battle compressor and ultra ball and things like that so yeah, yeah. it's and, and i don't think in this case it's yeah, and even if it was like if, if Andrew didn't have any other supporter card in his hand, mm -hmm. then maybe you want to try to end up your mm -hmm. deck by one or two cards, meaning the energy, the energy and is, yeah. then that increases very slightly, but mm -hmm. it does increase it does the odds of the odds, yeah. of getting that supporter you need. Mm -hmm. And definitely it gave us statistics how many of the cards do you have left, what are the odds that you'll hit it. Yeah. So um, yeah, I guess in that case it would be Depending on which way you're trying to go, right? Mm -hmm. It's very situational. I think you'd have to play the game a hundred, like that exact scenario, a hundred times to really know, like, no, oh, which, this which is the right, the right order. Way, yeah. yeah. And even then, is it accurate? Like, yeah. you're <laughs> how big of a sample do you need? Yeah. yeah. We do see a fine few built. We see mm -hmm. another <laughs> trainer's mail. Oh. We actually see you went through. Uh, good amount of cards so he's actually having a really good turn for his first one yeah and he has a verse seeker so that mm -hmm. guarantees a supporter for next mm -hmm. and it'll be up to jimmy to capitalize on the fact that andrew missed both mm -hmm. max elixirs and let's see what he does because andrew was set behind by the shaman start and he could never recover mm -mm. so we'll see if jimmy can can work some of the magic we saw in the previous game it actually looks like Andrew got another uh, Max Elixir, so he's going to actually possibly play all three. I mean, I feel like he doesn't look to make give you an Ultra Ball in too, but, um, and so he might want to wait until the next turn to see what he draws, see, you know, what he wants to discuss with Ultra Ball, or he might just go, he's oh, just he going to go for straight it. forward. So can he hit? <laughs> oh, 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 the last, the last one. Card. Oh, they're both so excited. <laughs> Even the judges were excited <laughs> for that. <laughs> there he goes. So at least he gets one energy off of mm -hmm. that. As long as Jimmy doesn't hit like three energy yeah. immediately. Um, the odds of Jimmy also getting all three in his hand as well and then hitting them. like mm -hmm. But again, it goes about all to the statistics of yeah. what could really happen. And every time you do hit one max elixir, it makes it less likely that you hit the, the others. Next one. Mm -hmm. So we do see Jimmy play down the stadium first though, and no, he has delinquent. We don't know if Andrew does. Mm -mm. Not sure. But I feel like out of all the games that we've seen Andrew play, I haven't seen one yet. I feel like it's very unlikely that he you never actually know until you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't seen the other stadium either, the one that adds damage. The, the ten day adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, actually, it seems like Jimmy doesn't have too great a start. He got rid of a Carpenter and just goes for another shame. So, uh, the situation is definitely reversed here. Mm -hmm. And Andrew must be feeling really good here. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a fully powered up um, Bright Knight of Elsol just yet. <laughs> but he he's in a very menacing position for, for Jimmy. One card is... Oh, you got the N off the last card. Okay. So, he also has the TC. 
potentially damage that volatile and turn return shaman mm -hmm. he found a float stone as well yep there's the volatile the okay nope he's gonna actually just go ahead and start powering up the volatile witches you know a bad idea he was able to start taking early prize cards well not necessarily early, but putting damage on the field early last game with just going straight up for the Yveltal, so maybe that's the play. Yeah. Early Yveltal and clean up with Fright Knight, so. He finds uh, those um, Max Elixirs. Mm -hmm. He could actually get the initiative Damage, here. right, especially the energy. I don't think he won. He does have a trainer's mail. Looks like, so he'll possibly get one still. I saw... A Pokemon Center KD? Not entirely oh, man. sure. That would be real. And so maybe he opted to play Pokemon Center KD over the Olympia? Who knows? Probably sure. Yeah. Yep, that's what that sure. is. I'm yeah. pretty sure too. It looks like it. So, I'm gonna give up rubbish. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Don't want to make your shamans even more mm -hmm. fragile than they already are. Well, we do, do see, see it enhanced. Yeah, this is pretty much a reverse, reverse image. Hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> what we saw the previous game. It's super interesting how, I mean, within one thing, getting the max elixir, and if he did get the max elixir, if he did get the energy. The difference between, you know, Jimmy having a lead and Andrew having a lead, like one card changes that big of a deal. It's pretty. You're not hitting those. You're not very happy because it's gonna be the difference between a win and a loss. It seems. Yeah. Now we see three energy on Andrew's field. We see no energy on Jimmy's field, and Andrew does take the first KO. Mm -hmm. And since this is not Greninja, I don't think either player plays Ace <laughs> yeah, Trainer. So, so even an N won't really hurt Andrew too. Oh, one thing that is kind of upsetting. Uh, Andrew is possibly going to go for a seven prize card game, um, but with Friday nights you can always take prize cards on those. But he, he, not always the best idea to get the knockout for the Trubbish. He would have been okay with. You see Jimmy's first Max Elixir, which mm -hmm. does hit. He mm -hmm. even had two energy right there, mm -hmm. and he does have a decent hand, so he could actually even go for the Friday night Veltal, mm -hmm. but. Since he already used a supporter, since he can't buy himself some time with a Lysander, I'm gonna guess it's gonna go to the Evelto DX in mm -hmm. order to start dishing them. There yep. we go. He might transfer that back, but definitely gonna attack right now with Evil Ball. I feel like that you more than likely would Y Cyclone. I think that you don't wanna leave the energy on there. Andrew's just gonna go ahead and Evil Ball right now. So yeah. I think that. Pretty safe bet to save the DC Cyclone for less damage, and the DC gets enhanced hammered, and you're well. Yeah, that was fun. I honestly meant to say Y Cyclone. I know I said Evil Ball, uh, you, but I, I, I meant to you, say I knew Y Cyclone. The y -Cyclone is what I figured you were talking. I'm just really thinking, thinking through. This is a really tough decision. Maybe he's, he is considering the possibility of enhanced him. You know, mm -hmm. there's a evil ball for damage. It does get sent back. See how Andrew responds here. Sure, Jimmy got the first attack on the, on the Evel Tally X, but mm -hmm. Andrew has two Evel Tally Xs. He can definitely use here. Andrew to... has so many cards in his hand, he has lots of options of what he wants to for his next move. Really would love to have a delinquent of his own. Right. So we do see an ultra ball. Gets rid of the carburetor, so probably not gonna see that anymore. Let's find a shit. So what could Andrew be looking for here? I'm not sure Andrew does have another ultra ball on his hand, so he's able to thin out his hand. Maybe he doesn't have a supporter. Actually sure. Um oh I'm not sure. Now he has at least a floatstone and a. Oh, he actually wow. only opts to 
to Evil Ball. He doesn't have an energy. So the advantage Andrew here he had, um, I feel like he just was set behind really bad by mm -hmm. whiffing an energy drop right I feel like, though, it's true if Andrew did on the stream and, you know, what is he actively going to look like? Max Elixir is like, how much do you really drill into? Is it worth setting a shaman down, putting that much more pressure on yourself to yeah. get maybe energy attachment or something different? But yeah. And now we do see the reverse situation where Andrew was ahead in prices in the previous game. Jimmy was behind, but he was always in control. Um, Andrew looked to be in control at the beginning of the game, but I feel like he's lost that now, and it will be interesting to see what he wants to do here because he can definitely not get a KO right now. He can only dish damage, but looks like N is an the end. card of choice. And as we saw, you know, that Jimmy plays the Pokemon Center Lady, that could come in yeah. very clutch on the math of Andrew sets up for a knockout and Jimmy Pokemon Center Ladies and goes to essentially win him the game so yeah um we could really see andrew struggle here if he whiffs an energy and out of five cards only it's not too unlikely um i would really set him far far behind mm -hmm. and this is game two that andrew cannot sacrifice and we see the look on his face yeah like, oh, the look no. on andrew's face <laughs> oh. immediately tells you he did not draw not what he was hoping for yeah and since his bench is limited to three, he cannot bench the shaman either. Mm -hmm. Or if he, I, I think I saw shaman. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, Andrew's not in a good position right now. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to, to simply sacrifice the or half the baby mm -hmm. belt to take a hit. Yep, we did though. See, Andrew did get that enhanced hammer we were talking about earlier. So he does play two. He might even play a third. I feel like maybe not, but um, he did at least get. Ready. A little help for him that he's not gonna get hit with that fright night, so just so quick, yeah. Yeah, and at least Andrew, if you're not gonna touch an energy, you might as well deny an energy mm -hmm. of your opponent, yeah, that's right? That's always good. Do see Jimmy play down on our fold zone. Carburetor's not gonna come into play in this game, apparently. And we do see Jimmy Y Cyclone for 100 damage, mm -hmm. and now he's the one with the two evil Tully X's powered mm -hmm. up. So Andrew couldn't capitalize on his okay start and it looks to be he looks to be very far behind at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Not only in the price count but in the board state. And I'm not sure it looks like he has he has an ultra ball and a parallel city, which neither of those are helpful right now for him. Yeah. Um and he did also get at least a supporter off of his trainer's mail, so he's not just out of it yet. Yeah, but not having pulled off an attack in the previous turn, mm -hmm. um, not having attached an energy, that's going to really set him behind. Mm -hmm. And I mean, maybe he's going to go for Garbodor here. It's the only thing he can thin out his deck with, mm -hmm. really. Um, I don't know if you want to stop um, Fright Knight. Um, the Fright Knight ability, so mm -hmm. he actually chooses not to, and he will mm -hmm. find a Trubbish simply to thin out his deck by one more card. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't draw that Trubbish, and he will Sycamore. And we still don't know if he does play the uh, Stadium, the Dark Stadium, or not. And if he doesn't, I mean, this, this is what he's got on the field, so it makes sense to get rid of the other Trubbish. He's not gonna play it down, so. Yeah. And there we see the Sycamore. Um, he does find energy finally, mm -hmm. so I'm sure he's he's relieved by that. Yeah, and he's gonna be able to go ahead with that oblivion wing, so he's gonna be able to attach to the bench as well. So yeah, and it makes sense because at this point, if you let your you want your Veltal EX to take a one hit knockout potentially on the other Veltal, mm -hmm. you don't want to attack right now and then lose another energy. Mm -hmm. And this way, you deal that little bit of extra damage, which might come into play later on. Andrew did check his discard pile, and it, the look on his face, it doesn't look like he is too happy. He definitely thinks maybe he doesn't have a dark in the discard pile. 
That would be really rough. Yeah, I'm um, not sure. I would think he does. I'm not sure, but the look on his face, uh, he, he must, he was going to look like he get it, so yeah. yeah, he does. He does, he does, okay. Yeah, I was really worried. If he didn't have... like, it, like I said, the look on his face, he did not look too happy <laughs> after he checked his discard pile really quick. So. Yeah, if he hadn't had that energy, um, I think that would have been pretty much game mm -hmm. because Jimmy, what a, Jimmy's board position is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, that's one thing that can help Andrew. Um, he could potentially do a Lysander play onto the other Fright Knight and start dealing damage on the bench to vault all the excess, mm -hmm. setting them up for a knockout. And, well, looks like Jimmy is gonna do that himself. Oh no, we see He's the Pokemon Center, Center Lady. Center Lady, so all the damage <laughs> that Andrew just placed out again, just gone so quick. Yeah. Um, looks like Jimmy just has a response to everything mm -hmm. Andrew is doing. And... He's not lacking in energy, he's not lacking in resources. He has his powered up attackers and he's ahead in prices. Mm -hmm. And he's one step closer to winning this Fort Wayne Regionals. Now, he does go for another Revelt LEX. I don't think he's gonna play it down because there's no reason to at this point in time. He will simply take a knockout with Evil Ball and put Andrew even farther behind. Now, it's going to be hard for Andrew to play the the seven price game because he does have another two EXs, mm -hmm. uh, non-EXs rather, right there. And he's starting to build up a huge Evelt all EX. And even though Andrew has two energy on the board, he only has <laughs> one max elixir left if it's not prized. Yeah. And he needs to start taking prizes and so he needs to start being able to energize his Evelt X and it's that's two or three turns worth of energy he's got to attach to even start putting a good chunk of damage on to Jimmy's Evelt so this is looking pretty rough yeah like once again um Andrew like I don't see the, his win condition um the only thing I do see is maybe lie centering up the Fright Night of mm -hmm. and buying yourself some time that way, but mm -hmm. that's the only way I can potentially see see Andrew coming back into this game. And he will Sycamore, mm -hmm. so he's not gonna do that this turn. And he chose not to attach. He does find a DC. He's actually got two DCs. Two DCs, so... So he's got a lot of energy that quick, right? Mm -hmm. Now, now Andrew can, he'll probably attack with White Cyclone here and transfer the energy mm -hmm. back to the Fright Night of mm -hmm. And it's going to be interesting what happens from there because Jimmy might be holding on to, to something to retreat that Fright Night of Veltal. I mean, we're seeing the final match here. I'm sure mm -hmm. Jimmy is aware that that Veltal is a liability at this point. Mm -hmm. And... Also, Jimmy might play another Enhanced Hammer as well. I not with the games are starting to blur together on who's played. I think Eddie's yeah. played two, and Jimmy's at least played one, I think. Yeah, I think Jimmy has played been last game. Yeah. It's starting to blur together. I actually chose to just Evil Yeah, Ball. he chose to Evil Ball. Okay, that makes sense. Um, just to get more damage on the board. Five. There's five energy right now, so he's dealing 120 damage. If Jimmy finds a DCE and he evil balls, mm -hmm. he gets a return KO. Mm -hmm. So and that puts him in yeah. a really, really good position. Yeah, Andrew must have like decided that he needed to risk that mm -hmm. in order to come back into this game. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in a scenario where Jimmy doesn't find a DCE, then Andrew can actually lie center up the benched baby Veltal and retreat and KO with the with the Fright Knight. So that's really good for him. And you see Jimmy hit another max looks here. Yeah, he's that's two for two up, for him. Yeah, he's loading <laughs> up that other Veltal. Now if Jimmy finds another regular energy, he can actually um, retreat and take a KO mm -hmm. with that Evolt LX, but he does find the DCE. So nothing really going Andrew's way at this point in time. 
one thing I think I did also notice it looked like Jimmy might have discarded a special charge so Jimmy's deck is very teched out like he's got a lot of like options for himself yeah he's pretty much has like you said the answer to everything so okay so he opts to retreat I'm very surprised by that I am generally very surprised by that. Um, Does he get the knockout? He, he does have a DC in his hand and he an enhanced hammer as well. So yeah. He uh, finally whiffs the max elixir, so going two for three against Andrews, one for three. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's going to be really important here. Um, Jimmy seems to be conserving the energy. The, he wants to conserve that DC so he can retreat. Wow. Am I counting wrong? There's seven energy. Um, he does. Oh, yeah, he, he yeah, does he have does the KO. Yeah. He does he have the KO. Yeah. So even the Lysander play now long, no longer works because mm -hmm. we know Jimmy has that DC. So mm -hmm. you can't Lysander and N on mm -hmm. the same turn. I mean, you could red card perhaps, but there's the Lysander. Go for the Lysander. And yeah, Jimmy must be feeling really good here because he mm -hmm. simply attaches the TC, retreats, yep, and that's game. And, and that's there we go. The win right there. So Jimmy Pendarvis is the Fort Wayne Regional Champion. Yeah, that's insane. After all the matches yesterday, he didn't lose any. And then right back in it today, he didn't lose any. So congratulations to him. And Andrew did also an excellent job, you know. You can't be sad for a second place at a huge regional event. Yeah, so. definitely. And it always felt like Jimmy had a a big advantage on mm -hmm. Andrew. Um, he got the right cards when he needed them, mm -hmm. and things panned out that way. Mm -hmm. He seemed to have always had the answer to everything Andrew tried to do to him. Even you saw that second game, Andrew had the better start. It looked like Jimmy yeah. still was like, no problem. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching. We're going to go ahead and end the stream here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, advertise your channel. Everybody uh, should check out yeah. Pablo's channel. You guys should um, check out youtube.com slash tablemon. It would be really nice. I upload content every day in English and Spanish if you want to check it out. And yeah, thank you so much, Kim, for letting me commentate. Yeah, thank you for commentating and you know, you guys want to learn a lot. He's pretty good at what he's doing. So, oh. so we will see you guys um, hopefully for another event. And maybe we'll have another opportunity for you to commentate again yeah, for that, us. That would so. be great. All right. We'll see everybody. Bye. Bye, guys.